be better for unpossessing. Obviously, it's it's less discriminant. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, character inheritance can be a bitch. Um, and then unpossessed seems to be better for unpossessing because it is less discriminant. Makes sense. Um, typically, I, I tend to, uh, whenever I'm doing possessing, I tend to unpossess and possess right afterwards. But I'm usually also only dealing with single characters, so dealing with a uh, with like multiple characters and controlling them all at the same time is definitely going to be different. Um, AI, it seemed to me that the AI controller may have been get player controller zero, so to speak. Nevertheless, I think since I removed some of the character problems, like other period, which I think the player controller causes that to happen as an event on top of the game state spawning method, it probably wasn't the problem, but different characters. So now the only issue I really have is that after a certain while, say two to three minutes of character AI activity and possession and unpossession, the AI actually stops running and the characters just stand still. Okay, so with that, if you're checking it, check to make sure that the AI controller and the behavior tree are valid. Um, it sounds like depending on how the possession and unpossession mechanics are set up, that it is actually losing reference to its AI controller because, uh, like the AI controller with the behavior tree. So check to make sure that it actually still has that in its, uh, in its hierarchy and that it's not being overridden with something else. Um, let's see. You have his valid checks already? Huh. Um... Okay. Have you... I'm going to have to play around with this a lot um, with possession and unpossession with AI mechanics because AI makes it really weird and hanky. Um, actually, we were doing something similar to this in that battle project that we were working on. So, um, oh, you have no, okay, so yes, um, you want to rebuild the task, well, definitely may be useful, but I, I think for sure, inside of whatever character is being possessed, um, oh yeah, if you want to just send me the version, I'll take a look at it, um, and here, I'll even leave myself a note. I don't have D&D &D this weekend, so I may actually have some extra time this weekend. Uh, and I could possibly take a look. Notepad. Take a look at James's project to assist with behavior tree task. Uh, possession slash unpossession losing AI controller reference. Okay. There we go. Yeah, so if you want to do that, um, because unfortunately without looking specifically at what's going on, it's going to be difficult for me to tell you what may be occurring. Um, this is just kind of what it sounds like. Top of the hat. Blind guess. It sounds like it's losing reference to the controller. Um, and at that point, it would probably stop running the behavior oh shit it would probably stop running the behavior tree um so that makes sense but it could be other things um yeah send that to me whenever you get a chance I will try to remember to check my email this week I, I know I've been pretty bad about that and I apologize um Thank you again for trusting me with your information. Of course, I will not share it with anyone or on stream as per, uh, you know, respecting your your IP and everything like that. Um, William, I will check yours out in uh, just a little while, probably after I get off here or tomorrow. Um, I do have a dinner to go to tomorrow in D&D, though, so I will fit it in. I will make sure that I do this. Out bloody bobbies. 
project. Sounds awesome. So, yeah. Are there any other questions, or are we probably good for the night? I had nothing else planned. Um, this was kind of a last minute, hey, why don't you try this? And so I did. And while not particularly interesting, it works, it is functional, and I would call it a overall success. Anybody who doesn't, well, poop on you. You're not very nice. Boom, social, blah, 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 blah. So many things going on. Okay, so. Uh, thanks, James. I appreciate that. It was kind of a... Hoping that it would actually work, and while, you, like, I could see many uses for this, it's not fun on its own. It is not something that you would want to play just by yourself going, oh, look, I can click boxes and they move. Oh, man, that's amazing. <gasps> I made a line, guys. Made a line. It's so cool. Oh, shit. My number of incorrect is completely incorrect. Boom. Okay. So, that's all I've got for the night. You guys are wonderful. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for so much for checking out the channel, watching it on YouTube, wherever you're watching it. You are amazing, and you help keep this channel going. Uh, I will definitely be, probably be back on Friday as long as I don't die and or, you know, some horrible thing happen. Uh... Last week, horrible things happen. Happens. But, uh... Hopefully this week will be way better, and we will get more stuff done, and I will try to have a more interesting topic for Friday, as long as no one challenges me to another, hey, make a game in an hour, at which point I'm gonna have to start planning this time, because this one was lackluster. Very lackluster. But functional. All right. Have a great night, everyone. Uh, I will look forward to hearing from you, James. Uh, bloody, I will definitely check out your project once I get a second, and that'll be cool. Um, yeah. Have a good night.